Hi, today I'm going to go through the steps to set up a Raspberry Pi access point using the installer script that's on raspberryconnect.com. The installer can set up two types of access point. There's a permanent access point, so the Raspberry Pi allows devices such as laptops or phones to connect to the Pi over Wi-Fi. This allows you to use the Pi via VNC desktop sharing, SSH or access a web server. If you connect an Ethernet cable that goes to the Internet, then both the Pi and the connected devices will have Internet access. The second type is what I call Auto Hotspot. With this setup, when the Raspberry Pi is near a Wi-Fi router that has already been configured for it, it will connect to the network as it would normally. When you're away from your router and you start your Raspberry Pi up, it won't be able to detect your router, so it will automatically reconfigure itself as an access point. You can then connect your laptops and phones as you would a regular access point and have access to the net when an Ethernet cable is connected. There is also an option for a non-Internet version, which is mainly for Raspberry Pi Zeros that don't have an Ethernet port or for people who need, don't need internet access when using the camera or sensors when they're out and about. Both access points are, use the longer range 2.4 gigahertz frequencies. So this screen is a uh, Raspberry Pi through desktop sharing, the Raspberry Pi OS Buster version 10. The installer will work on Stretch and Jesse, but best to use the latest OS. The installer will only work on Raspberry Pi OS and Raspbian as other distributions may have different network managers so this setup won't work. Right, The first step is to make sure your Pi has some type of internet access. Um, if you plan on using the auto hotspots then it's best to configure a Wi-Fi connection now. Um, otherwise uh, you just want ethernet access so that you can download the installer. When you originally installed your uh, OS, you should have gone through a wizard that would have set up your um, your Wi-Fi country, uh, you know, and your keyboard country and stuff like that. Um, this is required for the installer, so just to check that that's all set up fine. If you go into Preferences, Raspberry Pi configuration, uh, go to localization, and just check your set WLAN country um, it should be on whatever your country is if not just select from the list um, and then that should be fine uh, if you're running headless then you need to use um, raspberry config um, so this has same localization options in section 5 and then in number 4 you've got your country thing so you can just select the country that you need there. Right so now that the Pi is all ready we can download the installer script. So if you go to raspberryconnect.com uh, at the bottom of the home page is these four uh, articles. This one's the installer. Uh, these three are how to set up all the access points that the installer will set up manually so you can see how they work. You can also see the scripts and, and download all the files for it but the simplest option is to just use the installer because it's exactly the same. So if we go into this article um, just scroll down to the installer section um, right so if you copy the first command and paste that in with shift control and V or you can right click and select paste and that's downloaded now we need to unarchive that file uh, this is going into whatever folder you've selected, so by default would be the home folder. So if we list the screen, we can see that here's the file that we downloaded, and it's unarchived 
this folder here. So we want to go into this folder. So CD uh, auto hotspot. If we've list the files that are in there, you can see that there's a script here. Um, so to run that script, you need the sudo command. Um, otherwise, you won't have privileges to install the files. So press enter and it should only take a few seconds. Okay, this is the main menu of the installer script. What you can see is there's three versions of the access point. So the third one is the permanent one. The first one is an auto hotspot with uh, internet connection and the second one is auto hotspot with no internet connection for connected devices. Um, then you've got the option to uninstall uh, any of them, go back to your normal Wi-Fi setup. Uh, you can add or change a SSID network connection that your Pi is already set up for. Um, you can force the auto hotspots between connecting to your router and being an access point even if you're in range of your router. And the last option is to change the hotspots um, SSID or password. So we're going to go with permanent access point. So number three, and it will just download and set up the configuration. So that's complete. So what it's telling you here is when the Pi is rebooted, it will become an access point and you'll be looking for this SSID, RPI hotspot from your laptop or phone. When you connect to it, you'll need to enter this password, this highly secure password. There is an option to change it, so that's preferable. Now this here is the IP address that your access point is going to have. So if you're using uh, VNC desktop sharing or SSH, or you want to connect to your, a web server, this is the address that you enter. So you need to take a note of it. Um, if you want to look it up though, if you go onto the website, each of the options has got um, detailed explanation of what they do and you can also find the IP address there. So, right, that part, the ins installation's complete, but as you saw, it's a highly unsecure password, so we want to change that. So if you go into option seven, um, so as it says, the uh, SSID is RPI hotspot. I'm happy to keep that. So I'm just gonna press enter, but the password is not particularly good. The password has to be at least eight characters, otherwise it will not work. Um, right, so I'm gonna keep it equally as insecure and go back down the keyboard. So there you go, it's telling you what the new password is. And press enter. Uh, and then eight to exit. And if you then reboot your Pi, you will be able to um, see that access point on a Wi-Fi device. Right, the Raspberry Pi is rebooted and is now an access point you can see that the uh, Wi-Fi icon in the top right hand corner is now two blue arrows um, this shows that it's an access point it will also do that if you've just got no Wi-Fi signal and the LAN cable is connected um, if you hover over it you can see that the WLAN 0 IP address is the one that we noted as an access point um, so you can now connect to that. So if you go to a Wi-Fi device, your laptop or your phone, and scan for Wi-Fi devices in your area, you'll see that one of them is RPI hotspot. So if you select that, uh, it should request the password. 
that we entered on installation I changed it over to 0987 etc so I'm just going to enter that there we go and it now has internet access so I can then go to a web address so I'm going to raspberryconnect.com and it brings up the website um, if you want to do desktop sharing then uh, go into VNC viewer and you will need to enter the a new connection And this password will be the password to connect to your Pi, not to connect to the access point. So whatever you would usually log in with. And then you can see that you've got a uh, desktop sharing. So that all works fine. Right, so if you want to use one of the auto hotspots, then you can uh, install one of them instead so I'm just going to run the installer again sudo ok right so you can uninstall the access point and it will return the Pi as normal or you can just go straight into one of the other options and it will completely reconfigure everything uh, and uninstall the permanent access point so I'm just going to go straight into option one it will reconfigure everything and it's done so it comes back with similar messages before so again it's using the same SSID for the hotspot it re reverts the password back to the default password so you will need to change that every single time that you install a different hotspot but the main change is the IP address has changed whereas the permanent access point ended in 5010 the internet auto hotspot ends in 50.5 um, so take a note of that um, you will need to do a reboot to uh, activate everything to begin with so we just do that first okay so the Pi has been restarted and you can see that there's a Wi-Fi icon there so it's connected to my home router as it should be because it's in range now as I'm at home and uh, it's not going to go to the access point on its own. I can force it with uh, an option in the installer. So I'm just going to run the installer again. OK. So if I use option 6, this will run the script uh, and change it over to an access point so if you now look up in the top right hand corner it's a two arrows as it was with the uh, permanent access point and you can see that the okay WLAN has stopped in this example so I'm just gonna exit here and if we put up, bring up the IP address so WLAN this section and the IP address is 55 so it's an access point and if you look on a Wi-Fi device you will see that there's a uh, RPI hotspot connection and you can connect to that <coughs> uh, as shown previously um, this this script doesn't need uh, a reboot to work so um, I can just run the script 
again manually and it will go through the process of uh, reconfiguring the uh, Pi back to network so it says here shut down hotspot uh, hotspot deactivated bringing Wi-Fi up it's now currently checking that the connection is fine you can see that the Wi-Fi icon is back over there and in just a few seconds it takes about 20 seconds but it, there we go so the Pi is now back connected to my router uh, and if you look at the IP address it's now changed to uh, what my uh, router has issued to it if you're out and about and uh, you make that change and you're connected via desktop sharing or SSH you would lose your connection because the IP address has changed um, there is an option on the website if you go to raspberryconnect.com and look at the uh, manual guide um, you can have an option to set a timer up that will run that script at a set interval whether that's a minute or every five minutes so if you run a script uh, at home uh, say you're running uh, some sensors or something and you go out of the house once your Pi loses connection with your router and the timer script runs it will automatically switch the Pi over to an access point and you can, can reconnect to it with your phone um, over desktop sharing or SSH or however you've set up and you can continue using your program without, auto oh, without affecting it and then when you come back near your router again uh, and the timer interval is complete it will then reconnect to your router if you're in access point mode with the auto hotspot so I'm just going to force it back over to an access point again so there we go you can see the arrows have changed right so when it's an access point you won't be able to search for local Wi-Fi devices so if you go to a cafe and they've got a, a free Wi-Fi available you won't be able to select it from here because that's been disabled um, so there's an option in here where you can uh, do it alternately so option 5 will scan for Wi-Fi signals in your area um, so these are the Wi-Fi signals uh, and then you can select the one that you want to use I'm going to use number 1 because that's a <coughs> my Wi-Fi extender um, enter password it's all it's already selected so um, it so it's just going to connect anyway but um, if you know the password type the password in here um, just going to put some random rubbish in um, and press enter and now if you go to option 6 and force it to back to network it will connect to that new uh, Wi-Fi setting you've just created uh, this will only work if you're connecting to a Wi-Fi device that only needs a password if you have to enter a username and a password uh, this feature won't work and you're going to have to somehow get your Pi back to normal network mode to do that um, which would be if you uh, force it back to network mode um, and you've got a screen then you will get the uh, Wi-Fi icon back and you can select as normal and you can choose ones that need username and that without a screen you're a bit limited with this setup well hopefully that um, helps you with your access point set up on your Raspberry Pi and uh, thanks for watching